Sunday, 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 Wow, disappointing results for Arsenal in UEFA Champions League. Two beautiful nights of UEFA Champions League that is on Tuesday and Wednesday, but it was a disappointing result for Arsenal after their first loss of the season when they lost two lanes of France in UEFA Champions League on Tuesday night. This is BWA TV. My name is Baba the Pandit, like keep your county favorite pandit, and this is BWA TV and BWA TV is highly, highly pro brought to you and sponsored by Ladmark Hotel. Ladmark Hotel is here in Nanyuki, a place for you to go watch the beautiful game, a place for you to go and enjoy your conferences hall, our rooms and also our great meal from our great chefs as well. We are going to get into the Ladmark when we are going to talk about the beautiful game on Sunday, Arsenal hosting Man City. But for today, uh, let's just kick off with what happened on UEFA Champions League and coming to this weekend when we take to EPL week game nine of EPL the beautiful game starting on Saturday early kickoff 2 p.m. 2:30 p.m. Kenyan time Luton Town versus Tottenham a team that has won only one game this season that is Luton Town when they beat they beat uh, Everton last weekend two one two goals to one they are going to face on form Tottenham Hotspur who have not lost a game this season remember in in, in uh, this season EPL they have not lost any game. Uh, on weekend, their controversial win against uh, against Liverpool at, uh, at their stadium. Then another game, Burnley hosting on form, out of form Chelsea. Chelsea, who have only won two games in the last five, that is against Brighton EFL Cup on midweek last week, and uh, their win against Fulham. And many of Chelsea fans thought their team is going back on form. Let's see how they are going to play Vincent Company boys. Vincent Company boys who have won, also won one game they, when they, bought, they beat Luton Town two goals to one. Everton going to Bournemouth. Everton, yes, today are winning. Tomorrow they are not winning. So we don't know which side of Everton are going to show up on this one. So Everton hosting Bournemouth. Uh, then Fulham versus Sheffield United. And now Man United versus Bradford. This is the case where Man United fans will be worried of which Man United side is going to appear on this one. Why? Because Man United have lost their last two games at Old Trafford. Remember, they lost their game against uh, uh, Brighton, they were thrust three goals to one. Then they came and uh, lost their second game uh, when they they played on UEFA Champions League. They lost to Galatasaray at three, two, three goals to two. And this one, they are going to play Bradford. A Bradford side that many made me argue and say Bradford have not won any game this season. They have only won one game that was against Fulham on their second game of the season and they started the game the season well when they drew 2-2 with Tottenham but from there they seem to have lost their form only won one only won one game this season they have not been the Bradford that we saw last season another one Brighton hosting Liverpool a game that is on Sunday a game that uh, uh, many Liverpool fans will be hoping to come back after what happened to them on last week when they played Tottenham. A controversial, controversial win for Tottenham. Uh, Diaz's uh, goal was disallowed by VL. People ask why did the center Lifali, why did the assistant VR Lifali talk to uh, Lifali center Lifali and told him, you know what, we have made a mistake. Now call the two coaches, call the captain and let's say allow Liverpool to score a goal because they had already I uh, made a mistake. You know, it's something that VL we sometimes we wonder why is VL even there? Because that goal uh was seen to draw Ben Diaz to be on the on side. West Ham will be playing on form Newcastle. Newcastle coming to this one after beating Sheffield Sheffield United eight goals to nil. They then beat Man City one goal to nil and listen this one they beat U on UEFA Champions League, they beat PSG four goals to one. Newcastle coming this one with a bang with the on good form. But how should we say about West Ham? West Ham have only only lost two games this season and this those two games come from on form Man City and Liverpool. They have not lost any game even when it comes to Europa League. They have won their two games. One at home and the second one away to Freiburg where they won the two goals to one. Wolves playing Aston Villa. Aston Villa today they are there today they are not there. So we don't know which team on Aston Villa will be coming. And now listen to this. This one coming is we have to get this lead of this because it's going to be a tough one. 
Arsenal versus Man City. The two horse race is now officially there. Arsenal hosting Man City at Emirates. Arsenal have not beaten Man City since 2015 when it comes to, to league games, EPL games. But they beat, remember they started the game on Community Shield when they beat Man City one goal on, on uh, penalt, penalt shootout after 1-1 one, one drill. So Arsenal come this one with a little bit of boost because they believe they can beat Man City. But there's uh, that uh, uh, question of is Bukayo Saka going to play? It's something that Mikel Arteta has come out and said, yes, he's going to be okay. He, he trained with us today. So many Arsenal fans are worried with Bukayo Saka missing and Gabriel Martinelli missing that on, those, on the right and the left wing. We expect Bukayo Saka to start this one. Man City has also the same share to, to be worried of because they are the lacking Lodri, Kevin De Bruyne, and Ike Gudogan. Why am I mentioning Ike Gudogan? Because the last time Man City played Arsenal, they beat Arsenal, they go to one. And this mid, midfield of the three of midfield of three, Ike Gudogan, Kevin De Bruyne, and Rodri were in that midfield. This time, Arsenal facing Man City without the three of them. Pep Godira is expected maybe to start uh, Johnston on that midfield and Arsenal are being boosted by the return of Thomas Party. So how will Mikel Arteta line up his boys? Will he go for a double pivot of Thomas Party and Dikran Lies and give our captain fantastic Martin Odegaard a free lol? Or will he go with attacking and sitting Thomas Party? on the bench and goes with the Dickon and Rice and Kai Havers all are trusted on that midfield. It's something that maybe I, for me I feel Arsenal should go with a double pivot or Dickon and Rice and Thomas Party, then Captain Fantastic Martin Odegaard to be on roll 10, then to be flanked by Bukayo Saka and uh, Leonardo Tossard and Gabriel Yesud to make the goals for Arsenal. At the heart of the defense we know it's going to be of course, William Saliba, Gabriel Magalesh, uh, Zinchenko, and Benjamin White. Then, here is interesting because we don't know if David Real mistake is going to cost him the spot and start Aaron Ramsdale. Or is he going to stick with David Real? Remember, all these games are going to be live at Ladmark Hotel in Nanyuki, where we have two big screens for you to watch the beautiful game. One you're watching Man United versus. Uh, uh, Man United uh, versus Bradford, and also uh, Chelsea fans will be watching Burnley uh, against Chelsea. Then on Sunday, where we'll be hosting, to, we'll be seeing Brighton versus Liverpool, West Ham versus, West Ham versus Newcastle. One screen here at Ladmark will be showing uh, West Ham hosting Newcastle, Brighton hosting uh, Liverpool. Then the big one, 6:30 p.m at Ladmark Hotel. We have big screen for you to watch this one Arsenal hosting Man City at Emirates. All this live at Ladmark Hotel here in Nanyuki. Our call our number are there and numbers are there for reservation for boxing for your conference hall here only at Ladmark Hotel. That is that guys. Let's see and wait because we are the Gunners. We are going to take this one and my prediction is probably a 2-1. Yes, 2-1 for Arsenal. That is that. Bye bye, guys. My name is Baba. We are the pundit. Like, keep your county favorite pundit. And this is BWA TV. And BWA TV is brought to you by Ladmark Hotel. Ladmark Hotel is the place to visit here in Nanyuki.